No, correct. Bring them this way. Good, good, good. Good morning. Okay, so we weren't expecting that. Hold on. Let, let, let them just be. Okay. We weren't expecting that. Alright, watch out. Alright. Alright guys, so when we work with King in the training room, he does really well. But he's a puppy, he's a baby, he's a boxer. Look how beautiful he is. He still has his tail and his ears. You don't see that very often. That's really cool. And he has a high metabolism. Good sit. So again, he does really good, good down. He does really good in the training room. But see, we brought him out here on purpose so that he would be distracted. Now the surveyors out here, we weren't expecting him to freak out like that, but that's just how it is. So we're gonna regroup. We're gonna make sure that collar is on properly. And then uh, we'll get right back to it, yes? All right, guys, so we're gonna start off with leash taming, okay? We've already done this with him before, but we've done it a lot in the training room because of COVID and social distancing and everything. So we're gonna start off just by getting him to leash tame. So right now, we're not gonna give him any commands. What Cranberry is doing is just letting him check his P-mail, let him sniff a little bit, Cranberry. But you see how he's reacting to those people over there? We don't want that. Looks like he's gotta drop a little poop out here too. Good potty, Papa. So the very first thing you wanna do when you're training your dog, is you wanna give him a few minutes to check his P-mail, to sniff, to pee to maybe poop and for now we're going to pick our battle so we're going to ignore this behavior see how he's behaving we're going to ignore them if we acknowledge him or tell him to stop or be quiet right now it's too early in his training he he might misunderstand us telling him to stop or no as a sign that we want him to do that so we don't want him to do that okay we want him to ignore them and the best way to teach a dog to ignore is by ignoring them yourself good sit papa and you notice every time Cranberry is asking him to SIT, he's applying pressure because at this moment in time, he's too distracted to want to sit, okay? Now, the sun is not working in our favor, so we're going to have to do this really quickly. Cranberry, we're going to start off with leash taming. You see how Cranberry is not even looking in the direction that King is looking in? No need to. We're going to ignore. We're going to ignore. Apply pressure. Good sit. Okay. All right, Cranberry, now you're going to touch. There's a gentleman walking behind you, okay? So look, now you're going to put him back into the sit, then you're going to touch. And you're gonna walk towards me and then you're gonna walk in the opposite direction that he goes, okay? You ready? Yeah. Touch him and start to walk, please. Yeah. Good, let him go. Good job, good job. Good job, just like that. Good job, good, good, good. Good, turn towards me now, please. Perfect turn. You see how Cranberry cut that left on him? That was a great decision. So see, this makes the dog more aware of what you're doing. Perfect. And see, and there's a gentleman over here but he's starting to understand. Good sit, Papa, okay? So you see how his tongue's getting kind of wide, so we're limited for time? But this is how we're gonna do it. Good good down, good Papa. Down. See, he thinks I'm asking him to lay down every time I do this, yeah? <laughs> good sit, okay, very good. Touch him and start to walk, please. There's a gentleman behind you. Good, 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 now turn. Good right, good turn, oh, good. Sorry, sorry about that, good, good, good. He's in training though, good, good, good. Come towards me, please, Cranberry. Good job, buddy. So again, in the training room, King does amazing. Like nothing, like he's like the most beautiful trained dog in the whole world. But out here, he's a little wild. Good sit. So this is what we want to do, yeah? All right, very good. Very good. All right, nice and short, sweet session. We're going to end it now because for the most part, he calmed himself down. Go ahead and tell him to go bananas, please, Cranberry. Do not drop the leash. Go bananas. Good, 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 King. So handsome. Let him sniff around a little bit. Thank you guys so much for watching. So leash taming is basically very simple. You just start walking in one direction, and the moment the dog goes ahead of you, you're going to turn in the opposite direction as quickly as you can without giving the dog any notice. Does that make sense? If you have any questions, please do. Let me know in the comments. I'm gonna get back to you as soon as possible. Yes, a dog like King, a little boxer like this, a lot of energy, a lot of drive. He's a friendly dog, so the barking that he does isn't necessarily aggressive. It's just, he's just being emphatic, okay? Look at that beautiful dog. Good, 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 King. And he's got his tail, but look how he carries his tail. Like a dominant dog. Good, 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 good. Hey, King. Let's say goodbye to everybody, Bubba. Good, good, good. All right, here we have King. So we've been trying to feed King three times a day, three cans of food. He's got a fast metabolism. He's worm-free. He's really thin, so we're trying to fatten him up. He's got a fat metabolism. He's got a lot of drive. He's very game. He loves to play tug of war. Loves to play with other dogs. Good down, Papa loves to harass folks right so good 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 
speaking of harassment, we have Coco and Maggie. So before we started videotaping this, I should have caught it. Maggie, Coco had an issue harassing the dogs while they were being on the leash, nipping at their heels a whole bunch, yeah, like she did with him. So we had to correct that. So we worked on it, and unfortunately, I didn't videotape it. I should, hi Eve. I should have, yeah? So we have Sabo, and well, Sabo's the only one left outside. Hi, hi Eve. So we're gonna work him around. I'm gonna show you guys. I'm gonna dictate handling for Cranberry. So Cranberry, more than using your own instincts, I want you to try to just be a blank slate and let me direct you through what we're going to do, okay? Apply pressure, perfect. The reason we're applying pressure there is because the dog got up before being allowed to. Oh, what you sneezing about, girl? Girl, goofy girl. Okay, so the reason I'm petting her when she comes up to me without sitting is because she's a nervous dog, so now, good down. So now that she's coming up to me, I'm petting her under the chin so that she'll keep her head up high whenever she comes up to me. And then after about three to four days of her continuously coming up to me, I'll start placing her into a sit. I won't ask her to sit, I'll place her into a sit, okay? That's a good sign. It's a good sign, yeah? All right, very good. Tell him to heal, Cranberry, and start to walk. And I'm gonna direct you. Heal. So you see how he touched him? He's just habituated to doing that. Well, look, perfect. Good nip. Good nip. Good. Good nip. So whenever the dog deviates from the heel position at Cranberry's side, Cranberry is going to give a bite, a quick bite. Bite and go, kind of like the dogs do to one another, how they nip at each other's heels. That's the same thing we're gonna do. We're gonna allow a lot. We're gonna tolerate hopping up and down. We just want him to stay in a small space at Cranberry's left-hand side, the heel position. Hey, baby. Hi, Bert. Good to have you back, baby. Good, good, good. So, Cranberry, good job. Perfect. Turn to your right, Cranberry. Good. Perfect. Very good handling. Keep coming towards me. So this is not the finished product. This dog does fantastic if there are no other dogs around. Good, good, good. Good. No, Maggie, Coco. Okay, now watch what we're going to do. Yeah. Everything Cranberry is doing is perfect. Good, now just start walking, Cranberry. Don't tug on him. Good job. Oh, look at that, you see that? Got a hyper puppy at home? <coughs> no, look at him too. Huh? This, this is why he's still here, yeah? He's been here maybe five weeks and he's probably got another two or three weeks ago. But look how, he, look how he is, yeah? He's not angry. He's just frustrated and wants to play, good. And now we have Sawa coming into the mix. Big old group ball, good, good, good. Apply pressure, make him sit, good, good, good. Good. So now every time these dogs come and get in the way, I'm going to herd them like a, like a cattle dog. Yeah, I'm gonna push them away from him. Good, good cranberry, apply pressure. It's a lot for this dog, very good. So this is stress, but he needs this stress, he's happy. Good, good, good Eve. Good, good, good. Good, good, good Coco. Good, good, good Sabo. Good, good, good Maggie. Good King, smart King, handsome. Look at there Eve, look, she play balance to him. She's trying to get him to play. She's trying to get him to mess up. So this is why we like training dogs this way because this is more real world training, right? He's going to be better when there's nothing going on because of this type of distraction. Hi, Hexic. Oh, good, good, good. Good king, good king, good king. Good sit, stay, papa. Smart Eve. Good, good, good. Okay, no, no, no don't, don't let him, let him in. No, in this situation, if he lays down, good down. Oh, he thinks I told him to lay down. But we're happy with it, okay? We don't even want to ask him to lay down. I wouldn't ask my dog to lay down a bunch of, around a bunch of other dogs because then he's going to feel maybe that I'm asking him to be submissive to them. And I don't want that. If he chooses to lay down because he's comfortable enough, amen, I'll accept the blessing. And I'll praise him and reward him for it. Good down. So now what we're going to do, we're going to be moving now. Oh, they almost look alike, yeah? So please, don't touch him this time. Just tell him to heal and walk in that direction, please. Oh, no, watch out. No, no, stop. Don't, don't tell him to heal. Now you gotta change what you're gonna do. You gotta bring him back. No, no, you gotta change what you're gonna do. You're gonna stay in place. You gotta adapt, guys. You gotta adapt, Cranberry. I told you to do one thing, but the dog flew out. So why would you, so you don't wanna go into the, a moving exercise. You wanna be still. Let him commune in his heart so he understands what you're trying to teach him. Good down. Good down, Papa. Oh, how cute, huh? Handsome. Good down. Okay, tell him to heal now. Tell him to heal and walk. Don't touch him, I said. Heal. Good heal. 
And for reference, guys, we don't have to yell it out like that. Say it nice and calm, okay? Good job, Cranberry. Good. Oh, we're gonna go out there. Nip. Good. Oh, oh, look, Nip. Good. Watch out, Nip. Nip. Good. So see, he's not trying to be mean, but he just plays too rough. So he's gonna be rough with his mom too. Good, good, good. Good, good. Look, turn to the right. Good. Oh man, turn to the right. He just plays too rough. Good, good, good. Coco, no man, slow down, come to a stop. Good sit, Papa. Good sit, he's pumped up. Good. Tell him to stay. stay. Good, Brew. Good. All right, good see stay. all the play on the leash there? Ideally, you want to minimize that play. Lower your leash, please, Cranberry, and let it go. Good job, good stay. Oh, look right there, apply pressure, calmly. Calm, good, stay calm, good. And I'm saying calm to him, not to the dog, yeah? If the dog gets up and you pump up, listen, he can't get away from us here. Good, stay, good down, good, stay, look. Good, Coco. That's what we want, yeah? Good down, stay, good. All right, stop moving around so much. Good. You don't want to get predictable, yeah? Every time you'll see, every time Cranberry put the dog down, he's gonna rotate around the dog counterclockwise, which is fantastic, but we have to change it up a little bit, yeah? Good. Be calm. Be still. All right, be still, Cranberry, please. Be still. Good, 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 look at this. It's a good sign, he's wagging his tail at Eve. And he's dog aggressive. He from China. Good sit. My handsome Chinese Irish setter. Oh, look, calm, calm. So I'm talking to Cranberry, not to the dog. Calm, be still, calm, stop. Don't drop the leash. Calm. No need to bite him there. If he, if he, if he stretches out, let him stretch. Give him play, let's tolerate a lot. Just we don't want him to get in, getting up. Look, looks like he wants to play. Coco wants to play with him. Looking almost excited, huh? Okay, good. Now. Stand next to him, please. Now touch his left shoulder blade and tell him to go bananas. Go bananas. That was his right shoulder blade. That's okay. okay. Good, good. Take the collar off, please. Okay. Oh. Look, look. Good sign, huh? Good go sign. Bananas. Good, 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 Bubba. Good, good, good. Now look at this sign. Good. Good, King. All right, good, good, good. The so long guy's been taking a while. We decided we're gonna do it ourselves and use it as a good training opportunity for him. Good, heal. Good heal, Papa. Let's try to catch him off guard with the turn. Oh my goodness, what a great deal, Papa. Good. Good, good, good. Good, Papa. Good. Handsome. Oh, he messed up, see? You heard Cambria make the sound. You see how Cambria got a mistake? Look, another mistake, a nip, yes? So watch, we'll bring him in the shade. Sit. Good, sit, stay. I have to bring him inside. It's not that hot outside right now, but see how wide his tongue is? He needs a break. Right. Good, 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 my love. Watch well, him gonna do this. Go bananas. Good, go bananas. Good, go bananas, Bubba. Now I'm gonna give him some time off, yeah? As we walk back inside, I'm not going to enforce anything, not make him sit, and he doesn't have to stay at my side right now. Now he's allowed to sniff around a little bit because I told him to go bananas. Good, 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 Bubba. So I'm gonna let him do his thing. He's gotta take a poop. Oh, he's ready to go inside, so we're not going to enforce anything, yeah? Good, handsome. Again, like I say in most of my videos, I don't like making dogs sit to go back into the front door, or like, for example, the gate of your yard, your fence. Ooh, look at that. You don't want the dog to do that, yeah? You want him to be excited about coming back in. Good, 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 good. 